much. We're excited to hear the word of God. All right. You know our text, Psalms 23. And we start from verse 1. And we're going to continue now to verse 3. All right. So I hope and pray that you already memorized it. So can we recite it starting from verse 1. Psalms 23, verse 1 to 3. Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads. He makes me lie down. Yeah, he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Can we repeat that uh, verse 3 again? He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen? He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. If you notice in the verse 2 and 3, for maybe this is the time that you just notice it, that only one word has been repeated in Psalms 23. And the word is lead. In verse 2, he already said, said he lead me beside still waters. And then he repeated again. He said, he restores my soul and he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You got to understand there's a twist there. After he said, he leads me beside still water, he said, he restores my soul. Which means, God, I praise God that God restores our soul. But it means that possibly we messed up. We did something wrong. Because if there's no restoration, if there's restoration, then something bad or something, thing, a thing, certain thing that we mess up in our life. But I praise God after the restoration. It says still, He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. He leads me beside still waters. I mess up. He restores my soul. And then He leads me again in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. So I praise God today. I'm going to be sharing to you the message. I praise God that God never stops in leading me. Come on, God never stops in leading you. No matter how you mess up or how you're going to know how God restores us when we mess up our lives. And today, I praise the Lord. Anyone here praising God, that God never stops in leading us. We pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. You can now be seated and enjoy the reading, enjoy the preaching of the Word of God. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. Sabi mo sa katawin mo, get ready. This will be good. Amen. Praise God. Alright. God never stops in leading us. Isn't that amazing? He said in the verse 2, He leads me beside still waters. And then He said, He restores my soul. And then He said again, He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Twice the word lead has been mentioned. And it's just a fact. It is just a promise from the Lord that no matter how we mess up, no matter how we fail, no matter how we commit mistakes, no matter how we sin, I praise God today that He is the God. And this is the thing about my sweet, beautiful Jesus. If there's one thing that I can be proud of, it's not religion, it is not even what we can do. But I'm always thankful to the Lord that I have my Lord Jesus who can always restore, who can always bless, no matter what we are doing in our lives. And I know, you know the fact that oftentimes we mess up. Or I am talking here to perfect people. Right? All of us commit mistakes. All of us, one way or another, we messed up. One way or another, we get lost. Anyone here experience getting lost, uh, finding directions? Right? You're one time waste messed you up. You trust waste to lead you to the destination, but then all, uh, all of a sudden your waste didn't work, and then it messed your destination. But I know all of you, even though one time waste messed you up, you keep trusting waste. You're still using waste until now. And same thing that I'm going to uh, tell you guys, and I'm thankful to the Lord that no matter how we mess up in our life, God has a plan for us how to be restored. And I want to tell you today, if you know how to deal with things when things mess up, for example, in your house, when something has messed up, you broke something, 
or maybe your kids spill something, or maybe something has broken in your house. I bet I believe that you know how to deal with it. I, I, I know that you know how to clean it. And if you get lost somewhere, nawala ka, uh, somewhere else, I, I know as a, a mature person, as a uh, man with common sense, you will always find a way to get out from where you have been lost. Nagtatanong ka ng way, nagtatanong ka ng daan, saan pa yung papunta, and you still find and you can still manage to find your own way. But here's the thing that I discover in life. Why is it that when, when we mess up in our lives, in our house, in our office, or wherever we go, and then we get lost in, in, in a direction, why is it that in our life, when we mess up in our Christian life, as if we don't know what we're going to do? So my job for you today is so that you will understand Psalms 23 in a different way. And you will understand how God restores you when you mess up. If you are not messed up today, praise God. Come on, palapakan mo sarili mo if you are not messed up today. If you're feeling good, you're all doing okay, you're not messed up, oh man, I salute you, I thank God for you. But of course, you cannot guarantee that you are okay now, that you will be okay next week. You never know life. Sometimes uh, we thought that everything will be okay, and then next week something happens, and then you get broken, and you mess up. That is why if this message is not applicable to you right now, still take note of it, still understand it, because you may be needing it one of these days in your life. What you're going to do when your life mess up? What you're going to do when your marriage is not okay? What you're going to do when your relationship is not alright? What you're going to do when your health is failing? What you're going to do if you're being broke? What you're going to do if you're, if you're not feeling the passion anymore? And I pray that today with this message, Psalm 23, God will help you to really understand how God restores you. Right? So that is why for today, I praise God. I messed up many times in my life. But I praise God that God is a God of restoration. I can declare that He restores my soul. Have you noticed there that something there is hidden? Something there has not been mentioned? David said, He leads me beside still waters and immediately he jumped on the words, He restores my soul. He never even mentioned that he was broken. He never even mentioned that he fell in sin, even though we all know that David fell in sin. Oh. The worst sin that he did was his sin against uh, the Lord uh, with Bathsheba, right? If you read Psalm, the, 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 after that Psalms, he said his words almost the same. He said, Lord, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. He prayed, restore unto me the joy. He did not pray, restore my salvation. Because he did not lose his salvation. He lost the joy of salvation. And he prayed. And can I tell you what the sin can do to you? Is that it will erase. It will banish your joy. It cannot destroy your salvation. But it can destroy your joy. So that is why nawawala tayo ng gana. Nawawala na tayo ng saya. is because that's what sin does to our life. We mess up. And that is why David said. But can I tell you Psalms 23. That my God, even though I mess up, He restores my soul. He didn't mention the sin. He didn't mention the mess. Why? Because you don't have to mention anymore what God has already forgiven. You don't have to talk anymore. You don't have to rehearse anymore. And that's why I encourage you, kung pinago ka na ni Lord, wag mo nang balikan yung mga ginawa sa'yo na mali. Wag mo nang balikan yung mga pagkakamali mo. Kung ikaw ay magkikwento, okay, bigyan mo ng konting kwento, pero I pray na mas marami ang ikwento mo paano ka pinago ng Diyos. And that is why David did not mention the mess, did not mention the kamali siya, the rich and agad siya. He restores my soul. And I want to declare to you that your life is not a life of brokenness, it will be a life of restoration. No matter how you failed in your life, no matter how you mess in your life, let it be a story of a person that is unstoppable, that's always getting up every time you fall down. That no mess, no mistakes, no can stop you. Why? Because God never stops in leading you. Kailan man hindi na tumitigil ang Diyos sa paggabay sa atin. Yan ang pinapasalamatan ko kay Lord. He never stops. 
Alam niyo kung tao lang si Lord, ah, wala na, ubos na pasensya ni Lord sa atin. I praise God that He's the God of patience. Amen. The God of patience who can endure my mistakes and my everything that I'm doing wrong, everything that we are doing wrong. I thank God that He's the God of grace. He restores my soul. Let me say that word. He restores my soul. Come on, one more time. He restores my soul. When you mess up, God has a design. God has a plan for you how to be restored. But you need to understand first, how, how did it happen that you fall? What made you fall? What made you broken? Why? Kasi kung pabalik-balik lang ang brokenness mo, pabalik-balik lang yung pag-fall mo, it means that you are not understanding how you fall. Yeah, true. true. When you don't know what makes you fallen, you will never understand what can make you to be restored. Kung hindi mo alam paano ano ang nakabasag sa iyo, hindi mo alam paano ka gagaling. And and today, my job for you today before you understand the restoration, you need to understand first this one. Can I tell you today that the enemy can never destroy you anymore. Yes. Amen. But he has a tool that he can use so that you will get lost again. What is that? The number one is this, the peril of destruction. Destruction, not D-E-S, T-R-U-C, but D-I-S, destruction, destruction. So, can I tell you, the enemy can no longer destroy you. But he will always find a way how he can distract you. And I believe that today in our modern time, the worst enemy that we can have is not opposition, but distraction. The, the enemy will always try to distract you from where you are going. He cannot, hear me out. Hindi na kaya ng Diablo sirain ang relasyon mo sa Diyos. Pero kaya niyang sirain ang atensyon mo sa Diyos. Pag nawala yung atensyon mo sa Diyos, He will be successful na mailigaw ka niya. Okay, here's how it happens in a context of a shepherd leading the sheep. Hear me out. You understand that the Lord is my shepherd. Come the on. shepherd is leading the flock, Come right? On. But then as they follow, hear me out. As they follow, nasa harapan yung shepherd, and the flock is following, and shepherd is looking for the green pasture, and looking for the still waters, can I tell you that the sheep can easily be distracted? Yeah. Come on. They can easily be distracted. How? Because when they are walking, all right? And then all of a sudden, they saw something there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's handsome. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I think that water is better than where we are going. Oh, I think that green pasture is greener than where we are going. So, hindi ka ma kaya ka na palayo. Hindi dahil sa ang Diyos, ang shepherd ay nagkulang, kundi iyan ay nagsimula coming from a simple na nakuha yung attention mo and you're thinking that those things can provide more than what your shepherd can provide. So yung distraction, that the enemy can no longer destroy you but he can distract you. So what he did was, alisin niya yung attention mo. Or can I tell you today, the enemy of what you're doing for the Lord is when you get out your focus from what God is telling you to do. Pag tinanggal mo yung attention mo, doon lahat nagsisimula. Once na lumi yung kadon, that's it. And can I tell you today, in the name of Jesus, that no matter what happened in your life, no matter how you see how good it is, how better it is, how beautiful it is, how prosperous it is, I want to tell you that those things cannot be compared in following your shepherd. God knows better than you. He knows what's best for you. Pero somehow, nagsisimula ang lahat sa distraction. Guguluhin ka, makukuha yung focus mo, and then mag-iiba yung tingin mo, imbis na papunta ka doon, at doon nagsisimula ang lahat na sila'y lumalayo. Dahil nakita nila, uy, ang ganda doon ah. Okay? Huwag na muna ako mag-church. Ewan ko kung ganito magdaka ng ship. 
Oh, sampai. Oke, okay. ang focus mo sana. Oy, ang promise ko sabi ni Lord sa iyo, ang promise ko sa iyo, I'm gonna bless you this year. Ah. Sundin mo lang tong papagawa ko sa iyo. But then, I divert your attention mo on something. Ah, and then, papunta ka doon. Ah, <laughs> Iniwanan mo yung flag. Ang, ang, ang plano sana sa iyo ni Lord ngayon, gagamitin ka ni Lord this year. Nagsabi ka na, I gotta commit, I gotta serve. Pero dahil may diversion, dahil may attraction na iba, so hindi ka na, ah, okay lang yan, sila na dyan, basta ako mag- Alright. So nawala yung distraction, you did not follow anymore because you have been distracted. Alam na ng job nun, hindi kayang sirain ka directly na i-oppose ka. Kasi alam niya ang babanggain niya, yung shepherd. Alam mong gagawin niya? Oh, hear me out, hear me out. Ang gagawin niya ay mapalayo ka sa fold. Mapalayo ka sa flock. Bakit? Kasi pag solo ka na, you're easy prey. Madali kang siluin kasi pag isa ka na lang. And maybe you are thinking, hear me out, hear me out. Kasi this will progress. And you will understand all kinds of emotion when you are messing your life. Come on. Right? So distraction. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. You're gonna follow uh, this word, this uh, the context of the verses. Di ba sabi ni Lord, sabi ni David, He leads me, come on, yung first lead. Di ba two leads? Yeah. Uh, the, the word lead has been mentioned twice in Psalm 23. The first lead, He said, He leads me besides the still waters. Okay, follow me now. This is very important. The second time he mentioned lead is he said, He lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That's big difference. Alright? The first one, he leads me beside still waters. The second one, he leads me in the paths of righteousness with emphasis for his name's sake. Come on. Alright? Uh, okay, follow me now. It says, the first one, He leads me beside still waters. Come on, come on. What is that? Hear me out. Follow me now. He, the first one is about your need. Come on. You need water. Yeah. You need green pastures. Yeah. And for sure, He will lead you to it. Yeah. Alright? He leads you. The first one is something that you need. The second one is not no longer you need. He said, in the paths of righteousness, not for your sake, yeah. but for His name's sake. Yeah. The first one is something that you need. The second one is something that God wants for you. Come on. Come on. What is the first one? This is about necessity. The second one is about your destiny. Oh, come on. Oh, this is getting better now. The first one is you need. The second one is what God wants for you. He leads you to what you need. And I praise God today that God promised He will provide all your needs. But more than that, He leads you to better than just having fulfilled the need. And He gonna lead you to your purpose. He gonna lead to your destiny. And so you follow the path of Jesus Christ for your life. Amen. Not what you want for yourself, but what God wants for yourself in Jesus' name. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's not all about necessity, it's about destiny. The last time we learned identity before destiny. Here's the second bomb. But necessity is not more important than destiny. Can I declare to you today that life is not all about necessity. Life is all about destiny. Because it may fulfill everything that you need, but if you are not fulfilling the purpose of God has for you, this thing doesn't matter anymore. Because what God wants for you is better than your necessity. Alright, follow, follow now. Okay, necessity, destiny. Hindi lang ang plano ng Diyos sa'yo ay bigyan ka, i-provide sa'yo, gabayan ka kung saan kayo bless. Ang purpose ni Lord ay gabayan ka na matagpuan mo yung layuni ng Diyos para sa'yo. Kasi this one gives meaning. Kaya inulit na yung word na to lead pero magkaiba ang meaning ng bawat isa. Bakit? We need to understand life is not all about necessity, life is all about destiny. What's the point of living life of just 
fulfilling all the needs that you want or all the needs that you have. Yeah, yung fulfilling pa, kailangan mo na dito. My need for this, need my attention, need of love, need of uh, shelter, need of food, need of everything, significance, need of somebody to affirm. Everything, pwedeng ibigay ni Lord yung sa'yo. Pero kung yun ay meron ka, pero wala ka nitong pangalawa, you're missing the point. It's because those things cannot actually make you happy. These things is what are you need, you need to have in your life. The purpose, the, the goal for your life is when God wants for you to have. Okay, follow now. Are you following now? Yeah. What you need and what God wants for you. Okay? In between is where the struggle of destruction happens. Come on. Okay? Doon sa paghahanap mo ng pangangailangan, doon ka kayang yeah. distract ng enemy. Yeah. Para hindi ka na umabot doon sa pangalawa. Oh, I hope you're following this. This is beautiful. I hope you're following this. Because, you know, you're so engrossed with your job. You're so engrossed with your business. You're so engrossed with your career. Those things are not bad. God has already given you that. He promised that He will take good care of you. But I pray that today, I pray that your success will never be your trap not to follow the next one. I declare that when you are, when you're always thinking, what I need, what I need, what I want, what I need. How about what God wants for you? Can I tell you today that what can make you happy is not this thing. This is what can make you happy when you follow the path of righteousness for His name's sake. In between, sa paghahanap mo ng pangangailangan mo, doon ka kayang siluin ng enemy. That's why be careful. Bakit? Kasi pag need mo, right. kung anong dumating sa'yo, desperate ka, kung hindi, wala kang conviction, yeah. hahawakan mo na lang kahit ano pang mangyari. Yeah. Isasacrifice mo yung morals mo, isasacrifice mo yung giving, isasacrifice mo yung si Lord, isasacrifice mo yung Sunday, isasacrifice mo lahat para na ma-fulfill yung need. Ang crazy ito, it's just a distraction. Once that you hold on it, you will find out that you are just like a sheep that's fine following a different direction at pinuntahan mo yung akala mo mas okay para sa'yo and you discovered when you were there yeah. you find yourself right. alone right. Yeah. why alone? pas, may mabarkada naman ako no, you're still alone yeah. 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 Eh, every night naman nasa bar naman ako I'm happy, I'm, come on man I'm so good no, you're still Right, right. Because without the shepherd, you are alone. Without God, you are alone. Without following the will of God, you are alone. That explains, no matter what the world can offer you, all the pleasures, you are still unhappy. Nothing satisfies you. Nobody can satisfy you. You know why? Because there is a hole in your heart that only the shepherd can fill. Not the vices, not the popularity. Mas parunong ka pa sa shepherd. And you thought, mas okay dito, mas feel ko dito. No, you don't understand it. You're getting lost. Yeah, true. And you find na pagdating mo doon, when you look back, oh, asa na sila? Or him yan, paano yun lang? And mami misinterpret mo pa na sila yung nang iwan sa'yo. Hindi sila nang iwan sa'yo. They are following just the right direction. The paths of righteousness. And when you look, what you felt na iniwanan ka is actually hindi. Ikaw ang nangiwan. Come on, come on. I hope this helps you. I told you, some say the way is getting better, right? So relax it mula ang lahat. You get distracted na na Nagdala ka sa magandang offer. Nagdala ka sa magandang time. Uy, wow! 100K ito a month. Yun lang, pati Sunday kuha. Okay na lang. Greener pasture naman ito. 
First, third ma, one year, you're okay. Uh, come on, come on. Pag lampas ang isang taon, nagsimula na yung problema sa company mo. Ina, ina, ina. Karoon na ng problema, yung dati mong akala mo, binabakapan ka ngayon, ay you're so heavily laden, you're so troubled, and you say, I feel alone. Come on. It's because, hear me out, wala na yung pinaka-safest place, maliban na malaki ka sa shepherd. Amen. Amen. He knows the greener pasture more than you. Amen. Kaya nga, pinapasunod ka niya because sabi niya, mas alam ko kung saan ang pinaka the best na para sa iyo. And you thought you were distracted because you thought you can make it on your own. At pag ikaw na lang mag-isa, madali ka na lang maisilo ng kaaway. Madali ka na pa ikot-ikotin doon. Kasi mag-isa ka na lang, wala na shepherd eh. And the peril of destruction is you follow them. And you de you're there, you're lost. You're lost. Yeah. And can I tell you today that it's so clear that the ship has been lost? Yeah. Mm. Pwede ba? Can, I, can I just make it clear? That not all things that happen in your life, all the mistakes and all the sins, it's all cannot be blamed that you have been fallen. Yeah. You are not fallen. You have been lost. Yeah. 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 Amen. Nice. Nice. Yes. Tagalogin ko, ha? That's true. Hindi lahat ng pagkakamali ay masisisi mo na ikaw ay nadapa. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Ikaw ay lumayo. Oh. Oh. Siguro, ang dali naman i-explain yan, ano? Anong difference ba ng pagkadapa at sa paglayo? Come on. Come on. Yes. Easy. Eh? Easy. Paano? Gusto niya ang illustrate ko? Ay, ako dadapa dito. Ba't ang mga ship talaga to? You're easily distracted. Di ba? Sino, volunteer. Hindi, ganyan kaingay ang mga ship kasi nagtuturoan sila eh. Yan. Pero alam niyo ang ang pagkadapa. Kaya ako na lang. I'm a good shepherd. <laughs> alam niyo ang difference ng pagkadapa. Right? Pag nadapa ka, yung sabihin, may natisuran ka. Oh. Ah, kaya tagalog ko para mas malina. Okay? So, pag nadapa ka, either may tumulak sa'yo o either natisod ka. Wala namang nadapa na basta na lang. <laughs> nadapa ka because you, will, you have been tricked. Okay? Ang pagkadapa, nadapa ka, right? Ibigay ba ang posisyon ng pagkadapa? Hindi ko alam. Right? Nadapa ka, right? Okay. Ano kayo ba ng pagkadapa? Okay? Ang dapa, nandun ka mismo sa lugar na kung saan ka nadapa. Sundan niya ako kasi, this will clear out all the excuses and alibis and our cover-ups of everything that we're doing. Yeah. Hindi ka na dapa, lumayo ka. Yeah. Bakit iba ang dapa sa layo? Yeah. Ang dapa, natumba ka. Yeah. Ang paglayo, ikaw yung lumayo. Yeah. At ito ang maling natin. We're blaming everything and telling everything, oy, pasensya niyo ako kasi ako'y nadapa. Yeah. 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 And to think, walang nakatisod sa'yo. It's your choice. Yeah, lumayo ka eh. You get up, and I'm talking to everybody here, including me. Yeah. I've learned in my life, I cannot blame anyone else that I can say, ay, natisod ako, ay, na-offend ako. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Bakit? Kasi kung nadapa ka, madaling ang balikan. Yeah. Wow. 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 Nice, nice. Dapa ka dapa. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Okay, imagine I'm a shepherd, right? Naglalaka tayo lahat. Yeah? May nadapa. Sundan? Dapa. Natisod eh. Oops! Dapa, hindi naman dapa. Ayan, no Jimmy. Yan. Right? Okay, follow me now. Pag nadapa ang isang, imagine mo may nadapa ang ship. Nasa unahan yung good shepherd. I tell you, my goodness, this will help you a lot. Nadapa ka, sabihin mo, pas, yung unahan, nasa unahan ko kasi ang bagal maglakad. Yung nasa likod ko, ang bilis naman maglakad. Okay, you can tell everything 
about what happened back in Canada pa. It's all right. It's legit. We are concerned and it's okay. But hear me out. Pag nadapa, kung ako ang shepherd, may nadapa, oy may nadapa! What the shepherd will do? Come on! Oh! Okay. Diba? Okay, kaya ano yan? Okay, yung apat ang paddy ang sheep, diba? Okay, okay. Are you good? Are you good? O, huwag tungo kasi hindi mo makita yung pupuntahan mo eh. Kaya wala ka napupunta, palagi ka nakatungo eh. Tingnan mo yung nasa hapan mo. Sheep ka, diba? Yan. Okay, okay ka na? Malakas ka na? Okay. Okay, follow us. Okay, kaya mo. Yeah! Thank you, brother. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Palama, Let's go. But you got it, right? You got it. You got it. Now hear me out. Hindi ko siya sabi hindi tayo natitisod. Lahat tayo natitisod. True. Come on. Be human. Lahat tayo na offend. Lahat tayo na sasaktan. Lahat yung nasa unahan natin pwede ikasakit natin, nasa likod natin, nasa tabi natin, everything. But here's what I discovered. Ang pinakamadaling ibango ni Lord ay kahit na-offend ka, basta nandun ka ng... Madali kang ibangon hanggang basta nandyan ka. Kaya hinahangaan ko yung iba na kahit nasasaktan, kahit na-offend, kahit pa may mga misunderstanding, they still are here in the church, they keep on following the Lord, because madali kang mahanap ni Lord. Okay. Next scenario, lumayo. Uy, nawawala si Bernard. Uy! <laughs> ha? Saan pumunta? Saan? You get the point? That's a difference of dapa at layo. Ang dapa, hindi hinahanap. Madaling madinig. Kasi at dama mo agad na nasaktan. And no judgment here. Pag nasaktan ka, ay dapat tulungan. Kung ako nakasakit, ay dapat ayusin ko kung ako nakasakit. Hindi dapat pabayaan ang nakadapa. Huwag dapat apakan pa pag nasasaktan. Huwag i-judge pag nasasaktan. Nakadapa na nga eh. Kailangan ibangon. Kailangan tulungan. Kung yung katabi nasa, ay sorry, mabahagal ako. Sorry! Kung yung nasa likod, ay sorry, ang bilis ko. Yung nasa tabi, ay sorry, di ko napansin. All of us are responsible for each other. Pero lahat ako, hear me out, hear me out. Pero alam niyo ko, bakit bumagal yung nasa unahan? Distracted eh. Yung nasa likod, bumilis na, distracted eh. Ang kalaban natin lahat, distraction. What if, kaya tayo may conflict is because we have been too... We have been so distracted with so many things. In our news feed, in the demands of our work, in the demands of what people will say, in our family, we need to do this, we need to do that. There's so many distractions. But you, know you should never forget that in all things that are happening, come on, you have a shepherd. And the shepherd will always leave you. And I for praise God today that God never stops in leading me. But even there are times na ako ay nadadapa, I praise God, binabalikan ako ng Diyos at yeah. pinagawa ng Diyos. So good. Thank you. At kahit may mga point na ako ay lumayo. Come on. Come on. The peril of destruction. I, can I, I hope I'm helping you out. Amen. Amen. Magsisimula ang lahat pag nakuha yung attention mo. Yeah. Once na nakuha yung attention mo at pumunta ka sa direction na yun, you're lost. But I praise God that there may be a peril of destruction, but there is a plan for the rescue. Amen. Amen. Oh, this is beautiful. Amen. What I love about my Jesus, about my Savior, is when He understand, when He discovered that someone has left the fold. He will take a stand. And what He got to do is that He will search for that lost ship. And Jesus Christ plainly explained it in the New Testament and he said, I am willing to leave the 99 and so that I can go to what the lost ship search for him, look for him and when I find him I gonna rejoice but I am willing to leave the 99
tonight and seek for that lost sheep. Amen. Amen. Praise God that there's a plan of yes. rescue. Yes. yes. Now, okay, okay. But context. Dapat pag inaaral yung Bible, dapat nasa context kayo. Kasi kung hindi niyo maintindihan yung 99, mag-iisip ka, Lord, parang hindi ata, tama yun ah. Di ba, 99 kami. Ba't mo iwanan yung 99 kung mahal mo din kami? Mm. And then pupuntahan mo yung lost ship. O di, nawalang katuloy ng 99 dahil lang dun sa isa. O hear me out, o hindi kayo nakuha na context. Come on, come on. He is the good shepherd. Wow. Amen. Wow. Hindi siya bad shepherd. Yes. Hindi siya basta nang iiwan kahit sino. Come on. Come on. Sundan niya ako. Follow me now. What he meant is this. Okay, hear me out. This is a good shepherd. Oh, nawala si Bernard. Okay? Lahat kayo, Alex. Lahat kayo, mga sheep. Uwi muna tayo. Wow. Balik muna tayo sa fold. Okay, mga sheep. Okay, dyan muna kayo. Sasara niya yung pinto, yung gate, whatever. Okay? I want to make sure you're safe, right? Sa kanya iiwan yung 99. Come on. Because he loves everybody. What he wants to make sure, he wants to leave the 99 but still feeling safe. He will never leave the 99 unsafe. He gonna leave the 99, hear me out, because he is confident that you, ship, are strong enough obedient enough, that I trust you enough, that you will never get out of the hole. Hey, can you look for each other, and can you just love one another, look out for each other, so that nobody else again will leave the fold. So when you are feeling as if God left you for somebody else, always think of this, that person is needing help more than you. Yes. Nice. I give you a uh, 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 recent example. Somebody wants to bless me uh, with a gift. And then I thought that person promised me to give me a gift. And I was expecting. And it didn't happen. And then here comes February. This person come to me again. He said, Pastor Yan, I'm sorry I promised you, but this is what happened. Uh, somebody will, is needing help. He need to be in the hospital. So this gift, instead of giving it to you, the Lord impressed me that it should be instead to, to use it to help this person who is being rushed to the hospital. Come on. I am the 99. That person needs help. What if I will tell you some of the answers of our prayer are delayed? Not because God doesn't love you, but because He's giving it to someone else. He's needing it more than you do. Are you getting the point? Yeah, are you getting the point? So, but the point is, he will still leave the 99 and start to sing for that lost ship. He gonna call Bernard! Where are you? He gonna, you, you forget that the ship, the ship knows the voice of the shepherd. Yeah. Yes. He gonna start to search, but the shepherd knows where he, he gonna find the lost ship. He knows where you stop. And I'm paying up a biggest clue. Hear me out. This is beautiful. The biggest clue on how the shepherd can find you where you got it lost is where you seek that need. Where you seek and looking for that need. The necessity, remember? Yeah. You're looking something to fill your heart. He knows what you're longing for. Yeah. He knows what you need. Yeah. He knows if you're asking for love. He knows if you're needing significance. He knows if you're needing attention of somebody else. He knows if you're needing money. He knows if you're needing somebody to take good care of you. He knows if he's needing blessing to your family. He knows if he's needing a resolution with your conflict. He knows what you need. Yeah. Amen. And he can easily find you on a place where you have been searching to fill that need. Amen. Alam ng Diyos kung anong tinitibok ng puso mo na hinahangat mo na hindi mo makamdan. Yeah. Come on. Come on. At alam niya kung saan ka pupuntahan. 
Kasi kilalang kilala ka na niya, alam ko anak, yan ang kailangan mo all these times. At dahil na frustrate ka, naghanap ka ng iba na makakapag-fill nung void na yun sa puso mo. And I understand, alam ko kung saan kahanapin. Kasi alam ko, hindi yan magpapasaya sa'yo. Kahit balik tayo mo pang mundo, walang magpapasaya na iba sa ship, maliban sa shepherd. Amen. True. Walang iba. Not even the green pasture. Not even the still waters. Without the shepherd, it's just water. Without the shepherd, it's just a pasture. It's just grass. But God knows how to rescue you. So He looked for you, hinanap ka niya, and hinatag po ang kanya on a place where you have been lost at paikot-ikot ka and you're lost. You know what God did? He picked you up. Come on. He lifted you up. Now, here's the bomb. Don't you know that the word leap there has two different meanings? Ang sarap ng feeling na may na-discover ka sa word, ano? And then, wow, it elevates your understanding of who God is. Akala nyo yung word doon na lead is the same? No! I want to tell you today that the word, ladies and gentlemen, the first lead, he said, he leads me beside the still waters. The lead there, it means to lead from the front. Come on. To lead from the front. So because I mean, a shepherd is leading the flock. From the front, follow me. But the second one, ladies and gentlemen, verse 3, it says, He restores my soul. And he said it again, He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. The meaning of the second word, lead, actually means to be carried. Wow. Wow. Come on. To be lifted up. That is why Jesus on the New Testament, he said, I got to search for the lost sheep. And what he got to do? I will put that sheep on my shoulder to carry that sheep, that lost sheep. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why you can go home, no matter what happened to your life, no matter how you mess up, because you don't have to walk, you don't have to crawl, you don't have to stop. God will be able to lift you up and carry you in his shoulder so that you can go home. Oh, I praise God today that God never stops in leading me. Yeah. Even though I mess up, what he did was, yun lang, di ko kaya buhatin si Bernard. <laughs> Hindi siya na, ginawa niya is, yeah, he placed the ship on the shoulder. Sa so, tingin niyo, bakit kaya lang buhatin? So, may sagot dito si Alex. Bakit kailangan niya buhatin ang ship? Para din na tumakbo. Praise God, alam mo, praise God. <laughs> Come on. You got it? Bakit niya kailangan buhatin? Kaya naman maglakad. Come on. You know the reason why? Because God, the shepherd, loves the sheep so much Man, that he is not willing anymore that the sheep will be lost again. Come on. You know why? Because the sheep is so weak. Oh, come on. And what I understand about addiction, what I understand about things that we have love in our lives, mahirap yan itanggalin. Come on. Kaya kung hindi mo kaya tanggalin, si Lord ang tatanggal. Amen. Amen. So good. Kung hindi mo kaya sa amin, Lord, halik ka na, akin ka na. I'll bring you here. And can I tell you, that's very awkward for the ship. Sometimes it's painful for the ship. Bakit akala niya, hindi, Lord, mas masaya ako doon. Mas okay doon. Mas okay doon ang barkada. Woo! And then, sabi niya, ba't mo ako alisin dito? And then God will get you out from that environment. God will get you out from those uh, uh, ungodly friends. And dadalhin ka niya, He will carry you. As if you cannot control anything. But what God is saying, hear me out, hear me out. Pero kayo din ang mga kapagsabi. You're the witness to this. Na pag ikaw ay lumayo sa Diyos, alam ko ang dami mong kinikerry na burdens and a problem. Kinikerry mo yung guilt, you're carrying the shame, you're carrying condemnation, you're carrying the uncertainty of the future. But ladies and gentlemen, here's the good news of my loving God. 
when there was a time in your life that you can no longer carry the burdens God said stop carrying it okay. I'll be the one to carry you God said but leave everything leave everything and I will carry you and then he carries you and when God carries you it feels as if you're no longer in control as if something has been taken away from you but ladies and gentlemen when God takes away something from you it's always for your good yes it may be pain painful but always whatever God takes away from you God knows better it will harm you and God knows better when he takes away from you it's for your own good so he carries you. You remember that song, Footprints in the Sand? Bakit di ko makita yung dati magkasama tayo naglalakad? Four, four sets of, uh, uh, two sets of footprints in the sand. But why is it when I'm in trouble, I can only see one set of footprints? And you have realized that it's because God is carrying you this time. You are no longer alone. You have been taken out from a place, from a lost place, from a miserable place. The plan of rescue. Man, my music now, my, I got to be fast. <laughs> the plan of restoration. Not only there's a peril of destruction, but only that there's a plan of rescue, but there's a plan of restoration. Don't miss this out. This is so beautiful. So he carried the ship. Hear me out. He carried the ship. Saan papunta? Saan papunta? To the fold. Can I tell you today, not only there's a plan for rescue, but there's a place a place a place of restoration because it is possible God knows the shepherd knows that there will always be a place of restoration you have to accept this whether you like it or not if there's a place of brokenness there's a place of restoration and can I declare to you today no matter how you disagree no matter how you're gonna say oh this church is you know we are all the same we're all everybody has an issues but can I declare to you today the place of restoration is none other than the flock none other than the fold none other than the church it's the church bakit ibabalik ng shepherd ang sheep hindi papunta sa bundok hindi maging loner ulit ibabalik niya sa fold dadali niya sa flock ulit Oh, we don't miss this now. You're good, Chip. Uh, hear me out. And you got to understand how the process of restoration goes. Hear me out. Don't miss this. Dinala ni Lord ang shepherd, ang sheep, ang shepherd, ang sheep. The first thing that the shepherd will do, give that sheep a good bath. Follow me now. Ang dumi mo sa kabagaling. Sang ka ba ng susuot? And he gonna clean that ship. You know why? Hear me out. Particular. He gonna clean the eyes. He gonna clean the nose. He gonna clean the mouth. He gonna clean the ears. Why? Because the shepherd knows that there are parasites from where he came from and he makes to, he needs to be sure that the parasites will no longer be there. Because if the parasites will be there, it can affect, it can be passed to other sheep or it can die, it can make that sheep die. Small parasite. Ang gagawin ng Diyos lilinisin, take a bath, lilinisin yung mata, yung ilong, yung bibig, yung tenga. And here's what God does to you pag nakakabalik ka sa church. Yung unang dating mo, ang feeling mo sa kanila, itong mga to, grabe to, parang ako lang ang nagkasala. Parang ang dumi-dumi ko ata dito, parang, parang nakakahiya na dito, parang pinagtitingin. No, walang problema sa flock. They have been praying for you for so many long years. Alam mo kung anong may, may tama? Yung mata. Iba ang tingin mo, iba ang pangamoy mo, iba ang bibig mo, iba ang nadidinig mo. Kaya ang gagawin ni Lord, lilinisin mo na niya. Remember, ang prodigal sa nakauwi, pero hindi na dinala yung dumi na galing sa pagiging prodigal? Can I tell you today, nalilinisin ka ni Lord, i-re-restore ka niya, and here's what the thing. Pag ikaw ay nilinis ni Lord, ang tingin mo sa flock, Grabe kayo, makatingin sa akin, para namang, no, walang, hindi ka nila tinitingnan ng disdain or judgment. 
ikaw ang dapat linisin kasi ikaw ang lumayo apektado ang pagtingin mo sa tao at you're looking at people based from your hurt, based from your pain so sabi ni Lord, linisin mo na kita para mag feel good ka lalo summer ngayon, sa so nalagay ni Lord ayusin ka, and you feel good the moment you feel good you will see differently on people oh, they love me oh, they want to affirm me oh, they're praying for me it's because God is restoring now your soul and He's blessing you there's a place and ladies and gentlemen, this is the flock. The person seated beside you is never perfect. You never know. He's also a lost sheep. Hindi ka lang. Hindi lang ikaw. Maari yung patabi mo. Simple lang. Pero, actually, napapalayo na yan kay Lord. But praise God, nandito pa rin tayo. And I want to tell you today, hey, hey, as I am, if you're finding yourself so distracted, you find yourself as if you are so far from the Lord, here's the good news. He will go to you. If you cannot come to Him, He will go to you. Amen. And He will, two kind of leads. He will not just lead you in the front, but He will pick you up when you cannot make it, put you on the shoulder, and He cannot say, oh, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. And I believe that today, many people are going home. Many people are setting their gaze on the Lord. Many people in their house, we're going to decide, no more distraction for me. I'm going to focus on what the Lord has promised for me. And if I'm hurt, if I am fallen, I'm going to go to the Lord and ask the Lord, restore me, Lord Jesus. And I want to declare. He's 
scary. I'm feeling more that I'm here now. You're here now in Jesus. Well, as we gotta pray continually, sabi mga bisita, if there are visitors here, may mga bisita ba tayo today? If that is you, we love you, and we want to pray for you. Pinakamahalaga sa lahat is just allow the shepherd, alam mo lang si Jesus, to be received in your heart. If that is you, I want to invite you to come, to give your life to Jesus. If that's you, come on. If, you, if that's you, may be seated on thy nice come on, God, pray, Lord. If that's you, can you just lift your hand so that I can pray for you? Amen. Amen. First, I ililit ko po lahat ng bisita natin and nice tumanggap sa Panginoon. Uh, maybe you are not here, maybe you are still there. Pero I'm going to pray at sundan niyo po ang prayer na to sa pagtanggap kay Jesus. Okay? Ito po ang prayer and you can follow me. Panginoong Diyos, maraming salamat po na minahal mo ako kahit ako'y makasalanan at ako'y napalayo sa iyo. Sa araw na to, ako'y nanonumbalik sa inyo at tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon sa aking puso at sa aking buhay. Salamat Panginoon sa bagong simula, sa kaligtasan at kapatawaran ng aking mga kasalanan. Salamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Amen. Come on, come share. Can we celebrate for all the people who are receiving Jesus? But bring up Daniel. Bring up Daniel. This is a ministering place. This is a safe place for us. This is a fold. This is a fold. Come on, everybody right now. I want the Holy Spirit to work in your life. And He's working in your life right now. Come on, everybody. All hands lifted in the air right now. Come on. Especially these people who came in the front. Father Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus right now. Let there be a restoration, Lord. Let there be a carry time today. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be a new sense of the Holy Spirit in their lives. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus, Lord, that there will be new passion coming out of this. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that there will be a power coming out from this. And I pray in the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. Let there be, Lord, here, the carrying of burdens. Oh, come unto me, 